Let me just say this up front. This video will not have manga spoilers. I'm not going to be talking specifics because that would alienate everyone who doesn't read the manga, and I don't want to and don't feel like I need to do that. With that being said, the Jujutsu Kaisen manga is fucking confusing. <sighs> I can hear them already. All the elitist manga reading Einsteins typing away telling me that I'm a dumbass who's just quote not smart enough to enjoy the higher eccentricities of Jujutsu Kaisen. That my IQ simply isn't on par with that of the average manga reader and that I'm being a normie fool who should just stick to anime. But you know what? I think that's fucking stupid, and if you're trying to pawn that belief on other manga readers who have no fucking clue what the hell is going on half the time, then I think you're stupid. Look man, I've been reading manga for a long time. Hell, I've been reading manga for longer than most of my core audience's lifetime. I am no stranger to just how odd and difficult it can be to follow along with a manga series. Particularly with the action sequences. It can be really hard to convey the flow of movement and action in the static 2D format of manga and comics. I know this firsthand as I write manga and comics myself and I often struggle with these bits of action in particular. I can only hope that these panels accurately convey the sequence of events when all is said and done. However, Juju is in a league of its own right now. As the time of my recording this video, I'm fully caught up and well versed in the Juju manga current series of events. For those of you who have not read the manga, let me just tell you, this next season is about to be some of the coolest shit you have ever seen. We got some fat, juicy, palump Juju coming right up with the Shibuya arc and what comes before it. You should be excited for the future of this anime. But, what comes after that arc is some of the most confusing and hard to follow action and world building that I have ever experienced. The culling game is the blanket term used to describe the arc that comes after Shibuya. I won't tell you who's a part of it, and I won't use any specifics, but it's not really looking too good in my opinion. Just about everything that happens in this arc involves conflict and dynamic action. The problem is that it's incredibly hard to follow that action, and more often than not, the action is resolved through a character name-dropping terms and concepts that I don't really understand. I'm not saying these terms, abilities, and actions haven't necessarily been explained before. There's a good chance that they probably were explained at some point in the story because I doubt Gigi would just drop in some crazy nonsense without ever having taken the time to explain it. The problem is that he explains a lot of these concepts in exposition dumps that don't really flow too well in the scenes they're put in. Half the time, shit just happens. And the characters they happen to explain what just happened, but they explain it using terms I don't understand because the terms they're using were explained in an info dump several chapters ago. So I don't fucking know what is happening or how a person managed to do what they just did. This results in huge moments of plot development and world building that don't really make sense to me so I don't feel their impact as much as I should. Gigi just drops a bunch of exposition and then expects the audience to retain it all. The problem is, it's just too much info. When a fight happens, characters will make callbacks to info dumps from several chapters back, and I'm expected to remember it all, but the problem is, I just don't. If that made your brain hurt, then good, because it makes my brain hurt too, goddammit. The Cursed Energy Magic System is a very odd and ever-expanding rulebook of complex terms and executions. It's gotten to the point where I actively feel like I need to take notes while I read so that I can have a hope of understanding what in God's name is going on. And maybe I'm being unreasonable, but I don't think that's a realistic expectation for your audience, and I sincerely doubt it's what Gigi intended when he wrote the manga. And look, I know I could just watch a YouTube video explaining everything to me in layman's terms. It's not like I'm saying the story makes no sense. It's just very, very complicated, and potentially not shown to the audience in the best way. There's a lot of characters just telling the audience what's happening, and when it does happen, it's confusing to say the least. I've reread the manga several times, and I'm just now truly beginning to understand what the hell has been going on and the true nature of the stakes. It's definitely a good story, and I'm excited to see more, but I'm worried about how all this is going to be translated when it gets turned into an anime, because you can't reread a page of anime, you have to rewind a clip, and that takes a lot more effort. 
there's a good chance I'm in the minority here, and that my anecdotal evidence of everyone around me not really being able to explain the story at all just being my personal experience. But I'm just curious to hear what you guys think. Are you reading the manga right now? Does it make sense to you? Have you ever found yourself scratching your head and feeling confused? It would be a shame for this anime to drop off due to its overtly complex and convoluted system of exposition, and I'm really hoping they find a fix for this when the anime comes out in the future. Anyway, let me know your thoughts below. So good, out.